So hello to my Periscope audience and hello to my Facebook audience. Glad to be with you again this week. Prophet David Taylor here. As you know, I'll come on every week at 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to deliver uh, the word of the Lord to you, whatever the Lord has for me to deliver prophetically. Uh, lately it's been uh, teaching, prophetic teaching, as well as an actual prophetic word. And then, of course, I'm always willing to pray for whoever wants prayer. So if you have a prayer request while uh, ministering, then just put your prayer request on the screen, either on Facebook Live or on Periscope. Then I will definitely be sure to pray for you before we finish the broadcast. Okay? So, for those of you that are just joining, uh, you need the prophetic word of God in your life. There are three levels of word. There's the written word of God, which is the Bible. And remember, the people in the Old Testament did not have the Bible. <laughs> There's the written word of God, which is the Bible. There's the living word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word in action in every way. And then there's the rhema word of God or the prophetic word of God, the fresh breathed word of God, straight out of God's mouth. You need all three operating in your life as a Christian, all three, because which college should I go to is not in the Bible. Okay, Helicopters and fast food are not in the Bible. Okay, so you need all three. You need the written word of God, the Bible. You need the living word of God, Jesus Christ, which is our model and example of everything that God is and everything that man's supposed to be. That's who Jesus Christ is, if you didn't know that. When you look at Jesus and you study his life, he's not just everything that God is. He's everything we're supposed to be. Okay. So Jesus Christ, the living word of God, and the prophetic word of God, the rhema word, the fresh breathed word of God that's talking to you directly in your life right now as you live it. You need all three. Okay? So unfortunately, sometimes people get the idea, you listen to people that hang their hat in one of those and they make you feel like that's the only one you're supposed to have. You're supposed to have all three, the written word, the living word, and the rhema word. Okay. All right. So as you know, before I come out, I always pray and ask the Holy Ghost what he wants me to deliver to the saints this week. And this week, the word or the phrase is branch out. The Holy Ghost told me to minister on branch out. Okay. So what is our scripture reference? Our scripture reference is Genesis 49, 22. I got to give you a little bit of background. In Genesis chapter 49, Israel, or Jacob, okay, Jacob was his birth name, and then God changed his name to Israel. He's the father of the 12 tribes, and he's the father of Joseph. Joseph is the one that was sold by his brothers into Egyptian slavery, and then God exalted to be prime minister over Egypt. That's Joseph. Well, his father, his dad, is Jacob slash Israel. So Jacob slash Israel is about to die. And he's pronouncing uh, prophetic words over each one of his children before he dies, which is the job of a father, by the way. So that's the background of what's going on in Genesis 49. So let's look at what he says about Joseph. Genesis 49:22. I'm reading New American Standard Bible. Joseph is a fruitful bow or bow, uh, a fruitful bow by a spring. Uh, its branches run over a wall. Let me read that in King James. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well, whose branches run over a wall. A New International Version, NIV. Joseph is a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. Now, why did the Lord give me that verse, and why are we talking about branching out today? Because you have come into a season where it's time for you to branch out, where it's time, to you, time for you to do things that you've never done before, where it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone, get out of your patterns, get out of the things you've always done, and move into new areas, things you haven't done before, places you haven't been before, and, very important, people uh, you haven't fellowship with before. One of the ways you're going to get to where God wants you to be is through networking, is through human connections. 
And I'm sad to say that many times the body of Christ is still so terribly, terribly segregated. The body of Christ is still so terribly, terribly isolated. And what we're supposed to be doing during this time and during this period is connecting with people, different parts of the body, people that have different revelations about God, about the scriptures, about um, different things of the spirit than you, and connecting with them and learning from them. Okay? You're supposed to be branching out during this time and making those connections. But when you look at the scripture, it said that Joseph's branches run over a wall. Well, get a visual of that. What does that look like when you have branches running over a wall? That means those branches are growing almost uncontrollably. It means that they're getting over that wall, that they're covering that wall. If you've ever seen a wall covered by branches, you know what I'm looking like. They kind of splinter out. And they kind of grow out and they end up growing and covering the whole thing. But what the Spirit of God is saying to you is that, is that is, it's time for your life to do that. It's time for your life to branch out and grow and expand in many different ways and make new connections. But also to, to get over the wall, get over the hump, and then end up covering the wall. So as always, spring forth. That's right. Thank you. So as always, I like to talk about what these things mean practically and what they would actually look like in your life. What does that mean? That means that your business would go from maybe being a local business to being a global business. Like if you have a brick and mortar store, a mom and pop shop, you'll open up a website and get online and it'll blow up. If you have an online business, your business will triple. You begin to do business in different countries. You do business overseas in ways that you never have before. If you uh, have a heavy, strong network in your personal life, you begin to meet new people. I just need to get out of the boat. You begin to meet new people and be begin to connect with people that you never connected with before. Specifically, I mean, though, other members of the body of Christ. If you grew up in a strong word church, then you may very soon be connecting with a strong prophetic church. If you grew up in a strong apostolic church, then you may be connecting with a strong evangelist a strong evangelical church. If you grew up and you believe very strongly in water baptism, you grew up under a Baptist denomination, then you need to connect with those that believe in Holy Ghost baptism and learn how to be baptized not just with water, but be baptized with the Spirit. That's what it means to branch out. It also means sometimes in a business sense to begin to offer new products. Maybe you've been offering one or two products in your business all this time, and maybe it's time to revisit your menu and say, there's some new products I want to offer in order to gain some new customers. Another way to branch out is, is that if you are not internet savvy, if you are not tech savvy, and specifically if you are not social media savvy, you are going to have to get, change it up. That's right, you're going to have to get some social media profiles going. I know a lot of people don't want to do that, but that's where people are now. And more and more things are moving in that direction. Okay? If you didn't know it, there's at least a billion people on Facebook. That's a population of India, <laughs> and that's a, approximately one-seventh of the planet. You understand that? Out of all the people that walk this earth, one-seventh of them are on Facebook. So you need a Facebook personal profile, or you need a fan page, or you need a business page, and you need something. You need some way to connect. Uh, and even running Facebook ads, when you run Facebook ads, you can target them to your ideal customer. So if you've never done that before, now's the time to do that. Now's the time to branch out and begin to target your customers in ways that you've never done before. Okay? In a uh, practical, personal sense, that can also mean travel. Maybe there's some places you've never been. Now, one of my goals has been to travel to each state in the United States. Um, in my lifetime, and I haven't quite gotten there yet. I, I've been to many states, but I haven't been to all the states yet. So that's part of what I want to do. So traveling is a way of branching out. But God is trying to bring you into the season where you are fruitful in a way you've never been before. Fruit, right, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Fruitful in ways that you've never even thought about. That's where God is trying to bring you to now where you can be fruitful and where you can branch out, where you can cover the wall, where you can cover new territory, where you can have so much exponential growth 
that your growth where the wall wants your growth your branches now cover that wall and that's all we see is the green growth of what you're doing okay it also includes knowledge in the spirit what do I mean by that I mean new levels of knowledge in God's word new levels of knowledge of things in the heavenly realm in the kingdom of God in the spirit of God and new levels of faith I mean doing some of the exploits that you see in the Bible some of the things that that people have done in the Bible like miracles with water miracles with food miracles with bringing people back to life multiplication miracles uh, miracles of discernment uh, getting uh, huge visions from God like Daniel Daniel got huge visions from God Isaiah Isaiah got huge visions of the future from God and of course uh, John the Revelator John the Apostle got the vision of the end of the world and the beginning of eternity okay these men these prophets they got huge visions from God and so maybe you are used to having a smaller dream or a smaller vision or just a small encounter maybe God is ready to give you a huge vision or like Acts chapter 11 when God gave Peter the vision of opening up the sheet and rolling down the four-footed beast and he said arise Peter slay and eat you know what that was God was giving Peter a vision for the fact that the Gentiles were now a part of the church under the new covenant under the old covenant it focused primarily on the Jews but God did branch Gentiles in through faith but God was telling Peter that the whole paradigm has shifted everything has changed so yesterday those people that you would have considered heathen because they they work on the Sabbath because they used to worship idols and because they eat the pig all of those things would have disqualified you for being right with God in the mind of the Orthodox Jew and the, the Jews in the New Testament. God was telling Peter in a moment of time, they're your brothers and sisters now. They've got the Holy Ghost now. And if I've cleansed them, don't you call them common. Don't you reject these members of the body of Christ just because you think they were unclean or just because they're Gentiles or just because they had practices in their past that weren't like your religious practices. God said, if I've cleansed them, don't you call them, uh, call them common. And Peter had to turn his back on a lifetime of religious training in a moment of time. You have to be ready for that, boys and girls. You have to be ready that if the Lord tells you to go talk to some people that you've never talked to before, if the Lord tells you to go start ministering in neighborhoods that you've never been to before, Okay, you've got to be ready for that. There may be people that you don't particularly care for, like Jonah. God may tell you to go right, like the woman at the well. God may tell you to go prophesy to, to some people that you don't want to see him saved. You frankly don't care for them, and you want God to judge them. And like Jonah, God may tell you to go over there and prophesy to them. Okay, in this season, you're going to have to be open to the Lord doing brand new things to cause you to branch out things you've never thought of before, things you've never seen before, and things you've never done before. Okay? So, according to the Spirit of God and our scripture reference, it is time to branch out. Now, let me release the prophetic word to you, uh, and then we'll close with some prayer if nobody has a prayer request. For all my people, I say to you, through the mouth of my prophet, it is time for you to open your mind, open your heart, open your wallet, and expand your skill set. I have more for you to do. I have things for you to do that you have never dreamed of. Uh, take the limits off of me. I'm a God without limits. I have new people, new places, new ideas, new inventions, new positions, new thrones that I'm opening up to you right now. And so as you receive this word, I release unto you an anointing for branching out. I release unto you an anointing for exponential growth in every area of your life. I release unto you an anointing for courage to tackle new things. And I release unto you an anointing for openness, to be open to what I have to say, to branch out to new places. And I'm going to take your business, your personal life, your relationships, your finances, I'm going to take every area of your life, and I'm going to multiply it exponentially, and I'm going to cause you to cover a wall, and people shall walk by your life and see the fruitfulness and the green and the bountifulness that I do give you in this season 
says the Spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. Well, that was a blessed word. I'm excited about that word, and that word is refreshing to me as well. Okay, so if we don't have any prayer requests, I'll get, go ahead on and close out. Uh, hang in there with me about the music. I know I've uh, been talking about this last video for a while, but we got to get uh, some things straight in post-production. But when it's ready, I will definitely let you know. All right, so if no prayer requests, then I'll close out with prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for instant access to your presence by faith. Thank you for this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Thank you, O oh God, for branching out. Thank you for making us fruitful. Thank you for releasing the anointing for branching out. Thank you for uh, the way you're going to have us cover the wall and reach over the wall and reach over into areas we've never been before and to connect with people we've never connected with before and to do things we haven't done before and to become fruitful, fruitful in an exponential way, in a brand new way, in an exciting way, in a, in a fantastic way. Oh God, we are excited. We are eagerly anticipating what you're going to do in our lives. And we thank you for the word of branching out. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, amen and amen. God bless you, saints. Thank you so much for all those that tuned in. I'm here every week, Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time is my regular time to bring you a live prophetic word from the Lord. So remember, it's a season of branching out. God bless you. Be safe. Stay, uh, stay prayerful. Stay careful. Stay filled with the Spirit. And I'll talk to you next week.